Alright, so say you want to throw a pot on the pottery wheel. The first step, of course, is to center the clay on the pottery wheel. To center the clay, we'll smooth it out, make it perfectly round, and that will let us throw a nice pot on the wheel. So, you will need a few things. You will need a pottery wheel, you will need some clay, you will want plenty of water, and you need some nice steady pressure from your hands, and you need a little bit of movement. All those things, you put those together, you should be able to center the clay, no problem. Uh, first, the pottery wheel. You want to make your bat or your, your wheel head nice and clean. You can leave it a little damp, just make sure there's no dust or extra clay on there, because you want this ball of clay to be stuck on there very firmly. The clay can be any kind of pottery clay, but make sure it is nice and consistent all the way through. No lumps or air bubbles. Make sure it is ready to go so it is well prepared. To attach the, the clay to the wheel head, you can slam it down right in the middle, or you can just press it down firmly, whichever way you choose, or do a combination of both. So get it on there as firmly as possible, and make sure it's not going to go anywhere because when you start pushing on it and it's not on there firmly, it'll fly right off, speaking from experience. All right, so now we are ready. We can start the wheel. And to center the clay, I usually use the top speed of my wheel, at or near top speed. You can see how this clay wobbles as it goes around. That means it is not centered. That's what we're trying to fix. I need plenty of water. Some people just dip their hands in the water and that, that gives them enough water for a little while. I use a sponge and just squeeze out the water as I go. Okay, so I put a little water on. The water makes the clay slippery so it doesn't get stuck to my hands as it goes around. As you start centering the clay, the water will kind of dry out, so just add a little bit more. Now, there are a few, few different positions you can use for your hands to center the clay. Kind of the standard position is one hand on the side and one hand on top. Okay, so you'll be touching the clay here with the heel of your hand and this edge of your hand. You need to have nice steady hands, right? You don't want that steady pressure, no jerky movements or anything. So you need to anchor your arms to something that is a little bit more sturdy than just out here in the open, okay? So you can use the top of your legs. You can use the splash pan if your wheel has a splash pan. You can use the actual wheel head or the bat. And I even like to connect my hands together at different parts of the uh, process just to give me a little bit more stability. So if I start here with my first position, I'm going to press in with this hand. And I'm going to press down with this hand, kind of at an angle a little bit, but mostly down. And if I have nice steady pressure, it will start to get a little bit more round. Now you can see the water kind of disappeared quickly, so I need to keep it, keep it wet, keep it slick. Okay, so that's one position. Some people also position their hands like this and press the clay mostly in and a little bit down. That's another way you can do it. Some potters go more from the side. They kind of squeeze their arms together and some even pull a little bit towards themselves. So depending on your style, how you want to do it, how whatever's most comfortable for you, you're going to start with the nice steady pressure. So once you have kind of the big, big lumps smoothed out a little bit, you can cone up the clay. Okay, so for that you're going to take your hands on the sides, or you can even do it this way if it's a smaller amount of clay, and you're going to press in and a little bit up, and you can see how this cone is starting to form. Okay, I can also do it like this, I can squeeze from the sides, and as I get to the top, I'm using this part of my hand to smooth out the top part as well. Or you can use your thumb, especially if you've got more clay. So now I've got kind of a cone shape coming up. Going back down, I'm going to push down and in. Right down in. And as I do that, everything's solid, so the clay doesn't move my hand, my hand is moving the clay. So one thing to keep in mind, if focus on your hands. Don't worry too much about the clay. If you focus on the clay, you're not, not worrying about your hands enough. But you want to focus on your hands so you can have that nice, steady, steady pressure, nice and smooth, no jerky movements. Now for a small amount of clay, you might not even have to cone up and, and push it back down. You might be able to just push it in 
and then down a couple times which does the same same kind of thing all right so that is the movement we're talking about when you move the clay just a little bit when you think you have the clay centered it should be nice and round nice and smooth don't take your hands off too quickly because if you take it away too fast it'll be off center again so you want to make sure you gradually release pressure once you have the clay centered okay so now my clay is nice and smooth all the way around a perfect circle everything looks good I am ready for the next step of throwing a pot on the pottery wheel all right thank you for watching